Okay, here we are. This is a typical Easy Zone controller that I'm gonna show you how to set up for if you just have a heat system. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do since this controller is already set up is I'm gonna hold down the up and down arrows. And I'm gonna hold them down, it's gonna say A, operate, and then it's gonna say A, set. And we hold it down until it says A, set. And then that lets us program the controller. If at any time you accidentally hit the infinity button and back too far out, you'll just go right back in and pick up where you left off. What's gonna happen here in the beginning is I'm going to reset this controller so we can go right like it's from jump. So I'm gonna to go to global, then I'm gonna hit the cycle button a number of times until we say USRR, it says none, and I'm gonna to go to factory. And then, then what's gonna happen is, is when I take this out, we're gonna go back into a factory setting. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna change all our inputs. So A operate, A set. Now we'll hit the cycle button and our sensor type is thermocouple. So we're gonna hit the cycle again and right now it's a J thermocouple, which is what we have set up. Now I'm gonna back out one a set and I'm going to cycle through you, if this was something else then you would select something else on most of our systems it'll be a J thermocouple and you'll just set it up for J thermocouple then you'll hit the infinity button once and you'll come back to a set and then we're going to press the either the up or down arrow we're going to go down until it says output and like here output now we'll hit the cycle button output one and I'm gonna hit output two, and then I'm gonna hit the cycle button, it comes up alarm. So we're gonna cycle down through, off, cool, heat. So we're gonna select heat, and then this right here, our output time base, um, I don't know if you can see this, it's our time base type, OCT, and then we want variable time base, which will look like that. So we're just gonna change this, to that variable time base. And then we'll just hit the infinity button again and back back out to output two. Now, we didn't do anything with output one, but what we could do is it, it comes up as heat, we could turn that off. So now we're gonna go back, hit infinity until we're back at output. And then our next one is control loop. So we're gonna go to where we see loop. And there's loop. Now we're gonna hit our cycle button and you can see our, uh, our loop control is P and ID and that's our heating algorithm is P and ID. This could also be off, it could be on off control, but typically it'll be at a P and ID and that will be on your setup sheet. You can see right here, heat algorithm, P ID. So then we'll hit the cycle button again. The cooling algorithm is off because this setup does not have cooling. It's our heating proportioning band, 25 degrees. Our time integer, 180. Our time delay, but we're just gonna keep hitting this. That's our dead band. We're just gonna keep hitting this until we come to our low set point. Now our low set point from the factory is just going to come as minus 1999 and typically our systems are low is either 70 or 50. It's typically 70. So we're just going to hit the up arrow until we get to 70 degrees. Then we're gonna cycle again, and then that's our high set point. And you can see from the factory, it's 999. And typically our high set point is 550 for an oil system, perhaps 250 for like a water glycol. So it's 550. So we're gonna cycle that again. That's our current set point. Um, I usually just make that 70. And then our idle set point, I just make 70 as well, just to keep things consistent. 
Now our set point low, it comes up as minus 100%. If this was cooling, then we would leave that alone. But since it just has heat, we're gonna make this zero. So our set point low is zero. Our set point high is 100%. Okay, this is our control is auto. And then we're back to the beginning with our P and ID and the heat algorithm. So I'm gonna hit our controller again, we're at loop. And I'm just gonna cycle through to see if there's something I missed. If you go to global, you've already seen when we reset the controller, if we go to global and we cycle, it comes up centigrade and Fahrenheit. So you can change it right there and it'll change all our, it'll do all the math itself and change all our values. But you can see there we are, 70. The lower number is our set point. This is our current temperature as red in the thing. And so when I put my fingers on this, you can see it gets warmer. Then I'll let it go and it'll start to cool off. And um, that's basically the setup for a typical just heat controller.